Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at a couple of products from Finrissi. Um, they're the ones that do the tablet oscilloscope. They did the little yellow single channel oscilloscope. And they do uh, this one, which is their latest. It is the 1C15, which is a uh, neat little single channel. Claimed to be a... 100 megahertz oscilloscope. Yeah, we'll take a look at it, see what it does, and I'm, I've got it matched up here with my Siglin 1102, so we can see, you know, how they pair against each other. So first of all, this little uh, handheld scope, and you can see it is handheld, about the size of a of a smartphone, but bit thicker about an inch you know maybe 25 millimeters it is available from banggood for sixty dollars from ebay on ebay for seventy seven dollars and on aliexpress for forty five dollars so you can go ahead and take a look at those i'll put a link down below and you can decide you know if you want one of these Where's the best place to get it for you? Now, the one thing that makes these little handheld oscilloscopes somewhat different to use from a standard desktop oscilloscope is there's no knobs. So, for instance, if I want to change the time base, we have seconds and nanoseconds. And you just press those buttons. Seconds means larger, nanoseconds means smaller. Same for the uh, vertical scale. You have millivolts. And volts it has a nice display uh, very easy to look at and as you can see it handles angles pretty well that's nice it has a rechargeable battery it comes with some uh, accessories we'll take a look at those you know, in a minute or two you can see here we have the frequency uh, peak to peak and duty cycle and you know, different buttons will show you all the different measurements. We have negative duty cycle, mean, RMS, max. Yeah, you get the idea. Now, I'm running this off of a BNC to BNC to a signal generator. So, you know, if you need to, you can change your um, probe attenuation there. You can see here, peak to peak at 1x, it's showing 2.14 volts, which is correct. If I press the button again, you see it says 21 volts, which is incorrect. Then you also have your AC and DC coupling, which really doesn't matter for a sine wave, but let's, uh, let's get the square wave. That doesn't matter in this case anyway. What's nice is it does have an auto set. So if I change the frequency here, I can just hit the auto set button and it'll pick it up pick pick it up very nicely. Now we have our menu functions here and you can see the little tabs across the top. So for channel 1 you see we have DC AC and then our probe compensation. And you move between these with this little uh, horizontal and vertical joystick type thing. To move within the menu you go vertically and then to move to the next tab I'm sorry, to move within the menu, you go horizontally. To go to the next tab, you go vertically. It does have persistence um, off one second or infinite, and it also has a roll mode, which is very nice. Triggering, we have auto and normal, rise and fall. I assume this is edge triggering because they don't give you anything else. We have some calibration settings, and then we have our English or Chinese for the menu. So that's pretty good. We also have a save button here. You just press and hold it. That'll bring it up. Press it and it saves it. So it seems to be pretty nice. And like I said, I have this matched up here against my Siglent. Let's see if we can uh, turn this here. And you can see both things at once. 
Can we get that lucky? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to switch the uh, the type of wave. Now we have a sine wave at 2 megahertz. Triangle wave. Square wave. Alright, I'm going to change... Hang on here. Going to change our frequency down to something nice and low. There is a, a one kilohertz wave. Oh, and we can bring it in here using our horizontal. And then over here, we can do it this way. Alright, so looking pretty good there. Square wave, sine wave, triangle wave. So, so far it seems to be pretty good. It's got a little pop out here to hold it in place, which makes it nice for the desk. All in all, you know, so far it seems like a nice little unit. Alright, so there is a 100 megahertz uh, crystal can oscillator and if we come in here take a look at the screen you can see we're getting 100 megahertz there on the Siglin so let's see what we get here with the other one right you focus down here power it on now I really don't expect it to be able to view the signal at all and yet it does look at that 100 megahertz that's very nice I'm quite impressed for a less than hundred dollar handheld oscilloscope that is really really nice so what comes in the package well first of all here's the package you want these nice semi-hard carrying cases you get a probe these are the standard p6100 probes you get with just about every single chinese oscilloscope and to be honest with you they're just fine you also get a uh, BNC to alligator clip cable. Those can be very useful. You get a micro USB charge cable, which plugs in there on the top. And a charger, which is one of those European plug deals and like I said you get this nice carrying case that everything fits into that's a pretty sweet deal this is not bad at all for under a hundred bucks it's much better than that first one they came out with the yellow one and you know what for single channel handheld portable throw that in your bag you are the guy with an oscilloscope for the job not bad at all all right next up we have this nice little power supply also from finercy this is the dc 600 l and it's in a nice little extruded aluminum case and what you can see here is you have three separate ways to power this. You can power it with a barrel jack, you can power it with a USB-C connector, or you can power it with 4 millimeter banana plugs, and it'll take from 6 to 70 volts. So it's pretty cool. You have uh, this little encoder here, which steps you through the different screens. And if you look down here, This is pretty neat direction. Uh, 
How do I get to that? Nope. Try again. Oh, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> All right. Off. One second, please. Okay, there we go. So this is a clickable encoder. We got to click it pretty hard. So now we have it, you know, setting in this position. But if you wanted to turn it like that, you say direction, 90 degrees. And you can set it like this. And you can turn it whatever position you want. And go like that. So that is pretty cool. You set your voltage here. Whatever digit you want to mess with. There's 5 volts. Then you hit it again. It takes you over to amps. Hit it again. Have your on off here. We got volts. We have amps. We have watts. We have running time. And it tells you whether it's uh, constant voltage, constant current, even has a temperature. Now, I haven't been able to get it to run yet. But it does have PC controllable software. I can't find this product on their site. And I can't find it anywhere for sale yet. So I don't really know what the price is. I would expect it to be somewhere around the same price as the uh, oscilloscope. You know, in the $50 range. But again, it comes in a nice uh, semi-hard case as well comes with a oh it's not a USB-C that is a uh, micro USB oh that's for the USB out huh, it doesn't come with the USB-C cable for the power it does come with these clips and alligator plugs for your power out on the front panel so these two products were provided by Finrissi Finrissi however you say it for our consideration and um, I'm going to give them away when we reach a hundred thousand subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet you better do it because we're almost there we're over 97,000 subscribers got about 15 prizes to give away doesn't cost you anything ship them anywhere in the world all right if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to Jay at Finercy for sending these out that's it I'm out. Peace.